Yes, I am wearing a jacket inside. Yes, I do have my heat on. And I say that specifically because my mom is probably going to text me later and be like, I saw you had your jacket on in your apartment. Was your heat on? Yes, mom, it is on. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Jordan Page. I am here in Vancouver, British Columbia. As you can tell by the title of this video, uh, this video is I think something a lot of college students can relate to or a lot of students, a lot of people who have you know been away from home for a long period of time, whether that be at a summer camp, at college, at a retreat, at whatever it is, homesickness. I count myself to be a really independent person. I'm not someone who really um, feels like I need to hang out with other people in order to feel whole or to feel like I'm living my life to the fullest. When I first you know, entertained the idea of going to college and I got my acceptance letter to my school, uh, you know, I was super, super excited, just so excited to go. Um, and at that point, I still had like over almost a year until I was gonna go because I applied super early. And then as the date got closer and closer and closer, it wasn't that I wasn't excited. It was that then I got really nervous. And the thing I got the most nervous about was because I was realizing and questioning if I was really going to be able to live on my own and in my case, be thousands of miles away from home. I'm currently going to Google how far I am away from home just because I'm curious. After Googling, I am 2,455.9075 miles away from home. Now the school I go to, there are a lot of international students and so this is nothing compared to some of my classmates. Some of my classmates are from Brazil, China, the United Kingdom, a whole bunch of different places. Um, so to them, 2000 miles is nothing. And going off of that, it really doesn't matter how far you actually are away from home. If whether it's 30 miles or 3000 miles, it's a long distance. When we were moving me up to college, we drove in my mom's truck and it was about a four day trip. We were driving from Texas to Vancouver, but it was such an awesome time. And so that means that they were here to help me set up my new apartment, get me things for my apartment, which I am so grateful for because I don't think I could have set all this up on my own. But it was really, really great to have them here, except while they were here, I couldn't help but think about that day that was coming when they would leave. There would be even nights like my first night in my apartment and like the two nights I slept here after that where my parents slept at the hotel, I was a mess. Um, I was already crying uh, just because I didn't know if I could do this. And then the day came when they actually did leave me here. That sounds really bad. Then came the day when they went back to Texas and I looked like this. Because I was so afraid that I wouldn't always feel that and it wouldn't go away and that's what made me feel like I couldn't do this I've always been scared of growing up that's my big thing and um, that's why I was so afraid being an adult didn't actually feel real until getting here and that scares me so yeah I was not doing so hot I I was seriously panicking I I was so nervous I, I felt so lonely which is something that I usually it's an emotion I usually don't feel but I was so lonely in that moment now fortunately just the day after my parents left I had orientation for my school I met some people and I knew I was in the right place so fortunately for me I didn't have to wait super long until I began to feel like I belonged where I was and that I was where I needed to be. However, there are times that I still do get homesick. Um, I have a picture of my parents and my brother and I in my bedroom right there. And so sometimes when I'm laying down to go to sleep, I literally will just look right over at the picture and just get this feeling of like, oh my gosh, like that time is gone. Homesickness is still an emotion that I deal with from time to time even though I'm super happy to be where I am. If you're at a summer camp and you know, you are trying to, you know, get used to the fact that your parents aren't there, or if you're in college for the first time, uh, no matter how far away you are from your parents, it, even if you feel like you absolutely love where you are, I hope you don't feel bad about being homesick, but if you do, it's completely okay. At the same time, it's also okay if you're having fun where you are, wherever that is. If you're having fun doing what you're doing, um, you know, that's okay. Like that's what's supposed to happen. I know for me sometimes I'm like, 
you know, am I supposed to like feel this normal? Is this right? Like, does this, does this mean like something bad about me? But at least in my experience, it doesn't. It just means that thankfully, you know, you feel comfortable where you are. I am really fortunate that if I'm ever feeling homesick, I can just call my mom, call my dad, call my brother at any time. Um, there's only a three hour time difference between me and my brother and a two hour time difference between my mom and my dad and I. But there are classmates of mine that I know that there's a 12 hour time difference between them and where their families are. And that's really tough. Even if it's hard for you to, to call your parents, um, I always say that they're always with you even if you can't directly talk with them. Sorry if this is a little weird, but this is my tattoo. So I had my mom, my dad, and my brother draw a heart and then I had it tattooed on my skin. So whenever I feel lonely, I kind of just put my hand right near my heart and I remember that they are with me even if I'm not talking to them directly or I haven't seen them for a while, I remember that they're always with me. Now, I'm not saying go out and get a tattoo of your, you know, something that reminds you of your parents, but just remember that, you know, your parents or your friends or those who you love or what you miss from being home, it is always with you. And those feelings of, of homesickness, it's probably gonna suck for a while it's happening and when it does hit you because it's painful like it, it's for me at least like it's emotionally painful for me it's worth it to be where i am and have those feelings every once in a while for those of you who are homesick the first thing i would recommend is if you can give whoever you're missing a call sometimes i know people don't want to call their parent don't want to call their sibling or whatever because they don't want to seem weak or something just call them sorry for the longer video but this is a topic that i feel really strongly on and i think it's something that most college students and some high school students are worried about going to college i know i was um, so this is something I really wanted to speak on the matter. As always, if you want to reach out to me, you can go to my Instagram, which is down here, message me anytime. And I also have my own daily vlogging channel, which is linked in the description. Thank you guys again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.